Most Chicagoans will tell you that this is Obama country. Still, a vote for the hometown hero isn't automatic, even on the president's beloved South Side. Brian Jenkins is a small business owner in that community. He teaches young entrepreneurs how to turn their dreams into reality. Jenkins says he admires Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney's business expertise. But as someone who's deeply concerned about a city that's had its share of problems with violence and poverty, it's been pretty hard to ignore Romney's now infamous 47 percent comment. We're not asking the government for a handout by any means. We're simply seeking opportunities that other communities have enjoyed. But with no explicit plans just for African Americans, some voters are asking, what has the president done for us lately? They're talking about health care. They're talking about um, the economy. They're talking about um, the big picture of things that happen to everybody. But they're not talking about what they're going to do for specific constituencies from a very practical reason. That doesn't win you an election. Another issue for some black voters the president's calm demeanor. He's a very pragmatic person in terms of how he deals with both perspectives. But I think the downside to that is that people want answers quickly. Brian Jenkins says after watching the presidential debates and doing a little research on his own, he's decided that he supports the president's bid for re-election. There's a a level of understanding that he has uh, from his experience as a community organizer, growing up, um, you know, in the family of a single mother, um, having to be successful in the midst of struggle um, that's allowed him to uh, relate to everyday people. Even though some of the enthusiasm may have fizzled, African Americans are still expected to vote overwhelmingly for President Obama. Political experts like Fullwood say they expect black turnout to at least match what it was in 2008, when Obama won more than 90 percent of the black vote. Bianca Davey, Associated Press.